What's up, Gorilla Girls Nation? How's it going out there, everybody? We're doing something really cool here. We're gonna start it out today with some white Alabama barbecue sauce. This is super, super common. Where I'm from, I grew up in uh, Auburn, Alabama. Born and raised, first 20 years of my life down there. And uh, you'd see this stuff all over the place. So I wanted to share it with everybody out there in Gorilla Grills Nation. Also, caveat to that, guys. We're going to be doing a rubs and sauce series. We love our rubs, we love our sauces, but in a pinch, if you can't get your hands on some of ours, we're gonna teach you how to make some really cool ones. What I need from you guys is to tell me what you want me to make. You wanna see something spicy. You wanna see something with vinegar, let's say Carolina style sauce. You wanna see some sauces more like where I'm from. If you wanna see some Kansas City stuff, Whatever the case is, whatever you want to see, hit us up, ChefDrewAtGrillGrills.com, or more importantly, just go to our Facebook, make a comment there. We will listen to you. We will make it. So, Alabama White Barbecue Sauce is going to be the first one in our rubs and sauce series, so here we go. Okay, it's very, very simple to do. First thing I'm going to do is take some mayonnaise. Hold up. Did you just say simple? Yeah. And there's this many ingredients? It's simple to me, Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what I'm going to do with you, Dominic. I'm a uh, simple boy. <laughs> I'm a simple man. <laughs> All right. So I would, I'd sing you the song, but I can't sing, so we'll just spare everybody that Yeah, the misery. Skinner or the Shinedown version. Oh, I like the Shinedown version a lot better, but that's, you know, whatever. I shouldn't say that considering I'm from Alabama. Anyway, <laughs> this is what, it gets me sidetracked and I can't do anything right. All right. So we're going to use some mayonnaise, guys. I'm going to have a recipe posted for you. Don't worry. I'm just going to kind of, just kind of free freehand this one. I've just made it so many times. Free ploop? Yep. I was trying to say, I was going to say something, then I had to stop myself. All right, got yeah. a little mayonnaise in there. This particular mayonnaise comes from where I'm from. Check it out if you want. All right. Next thing we're going to do, guys, when we have our mayonnaise in here, we're going to take some apple cider vinegar. Okay. I'm going to pour, what, probably about a half a cup or so. This is where the consistency comes from, all right? What this is going to do, this cider is going to break down this mayonnaise. All right. There we go. A little more, I like things vinegary. And it's gonna really, when we start whisking this together, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Next thing we're gonna do, a little bit more acid in the mix here. We're gonna take half juice of half of a lemon, all right? Let's do our fancy technique here. We kind of do it over a hand to catch any of those seeds. All right, that's a juicy, juicy, juicy ass lemon right mm -hmm. there, my brother. All right, cool. Next thing we're gonna do, guys, is just, we're just gonna add all this stuff in here. No rhyme or reason to it, okay? A lot of recipes that you're going to see are going to call for mustard and horseradish. Well, <laughs> I just use horseradish mustard. There we go. <laughs> Cheater's it, way, but it, it works. It works just fine. Deli mustard, anything is fine. No problem. Brown mustard, brown spicy mustard. About a tablespoon, a little more. I like mustard too. All right, guys. And a lot of recipes you're going to see, you're going to call for paprika, and they're going to call for granulated garlic, and they're going to call for this, and they're going to call for that. Guess what? It's all here in our rub, okay? So I'm just going to use some of our cluck rub for this one because we're going to be tossing this with some chicken wings. Oh, man, that paprika flavor is my favorite part of the cluck rub. Absolutely. So we're going to throw that in there. Nice little flavoring there. It's going to add some salt as well. A little bit of brown sugar, guys. We do have a lot of vinegar in here. What I always say, Sugar counteracts that vinegar, kind of neutralizes a little bit, so we get a little less of the pungency, but all the taste. So a little bit of brown sugar, light or dark brown is fine. I'm using light because I had it today. Dark brown, not going to hurt a thing. A little bit of hot sauce. No matter what kind. Makes no difference. Whatever this is you like. Literally what's in there. I always go a little bit overboard on the hot sauce. That's just me. I don't know why, but I love looking at ingredients in a bowl. Right. And then a little bit of Worcester. Worcester. A little Worcestershire sauce. I call it W sauce because I can barely say this word. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. 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 Exactly. A little tongue twister there. When I was a journalist, we uh, ended up having to do a try to spell and pronounce Worcestershire sauce correctly contest. Did you We win? had about 22 people. No, nobody got it. Not a single person got I it. I wouldn't have gotten it. Not one person. I wouldn't have gotten it. All right, guys. So we have everything in here. Just that simple. We're going to throw everything in and we're just going to start whisking away. All right. Looks a little gnarly to start. Don't worry. It's going to come together. So can you tell us like what Alabama sauce is? This is I, I don't know what this is. This is basically a barbecue sauce. All the common ingredients to a barbecue sauce, we're just we're just making this a mayonnaise base. All right. So we're making this a mayonnaise base and it's going to have the consistency of that barbecue sauce that we're all very, very accustomed to. All right. As we can see, we're just whisking it in there. So I guess what is... Does it taste more like a mayonnaise or does it taste more like a barbecue You're sauce? You're going to be that's shocked when get. you, no, that's a great question. You're going to be shocked when you taste this. This tastes, of course there's mayonnaise in it, it's a mayonnaise base, but you're not going to taste the mayonnaise. This okay. is truly a barbecue sauce, all right? We use it a lot on chicken, all right? And we actually, I'm going to talk about that in a second. 
You can use this on anything you want to, guys. It's best on chicken. When you go down to Alabama, you're going to see this served with chicken very, very frequently, very often. That's what it's really kind of meant for. Okay. All right. So as we can see, we have our sauce here. That's done? That's done. Ready to go. Super simple, guys. Super simple. Again, we'll have this recipe out there for you. Don't worry about it. But that's what it's supposed to look like. Speaking of chicken, I went ahead and we smoked off some chicken wings earlier today. All I did, guys, I threw it on uh, silverback, two hours at 250 degrees. I just tossed in a little bit of light oil, uh, some olive oil, and our cluck rod. Tossed it, smoked it, ready to go, okay? So now we have our chicken wings. We're going to take a little bit of our white Alabama barbecue sauce here. Now, is there any, like, special trick to doing this? I, I always no. wondered, like, how do you sauce a wing correctly? I'm about to show you, okay? Just going to give it a quick toss in this bowl. There we go. Get a nice coating there. No rhyme or reason to it. It's a really nice coating. Okay. Put them right here on our plate. Just going to go kind of old school style here. I like to toss this with a little bit of seasoning. This is just Italian seasoning. And there we go. There's our white Alabama barbecue sauce with our chicken wings made with the cluck rub and a little bit of oil. We'll have this recipe posted for you. And this is the first of many guys. We're going to be doing all different kinds of sauces, all different types of rubs. We're going to mix and match things. We're always going to have a protein and give you suggestions on what each sauce is made for, why it's made for it. We're going to show everything to you. Um, anything you want to see, hit us up. We're here for you. I literally work for you. You want to see something? Hit me up. I'll do it for you. Put it right in the comments, y'all. 100%. This is why we're here. Until next time, guys, as always, like, share, subscribe, own the smoke. We love you, and we'll see you soon. Cheers, everybody.